we went to a truck camper rally at the Horn Rapids Park over by the Tri-Cities, Washington, and we had a pretty good time. Archie was on his second camping trip. You see him with his harness and bed. There are some of the truck campers here as evening approaches. We had nice color in the sky. And here are some of the other truck campers. There were several groups around campfires. Sometime in the last week, I seem to have developed an ant problem. We got these taro liquid ant traps, and hopefully that will take care of it. It uh, seems the poison attracts the little ants, and either they get stuck in it, or they bring it back to their nest, give it to all their friends, and it kills off the nest. So it did work after a couple of days. All right, we have made it to the Yakima River. And this is the uh, water river access through the Horn Rapids campground. It doesn't look like much of a rapids right now, and that's probably because of the dams on the Columbia backing water up above the level of the rapids. But you can see there's a little bit of a flow to the water, and if you look at the water, there's quite a bit of uh, milfoil algae growing in here. Um, that uh, brown stuff up there looks suspiciously like um, sewer manure. Um, there's uh, boaters up there. They might be drift fishing or something. So obviously this is not going to be a river to swim in. Um, I'm not the one who's going to swim in it unless I have a uh, hazmat shower standing nearby. Yeah, there's a birdhouse right there. I don't know if it's being used, but you know you can you can see up the way here. Very lush. Supports a lot of wildlife, I'm sure. There's the lovely Miss Kelly. There's a couple of guys on boats down there fishing in the corner, the bend of the river. So, okay, well, watch your step and trail. Hole. So this is what we had to hike through on the way in. It's not too bad, just a lot of plants and uh, the flowers on them actually kind of smell nice. Hmm? Yeah, they trip you a little bit. They're trying to get you. And there's a lot of bugs flying through here. Fortunately, not mosquitoes. Huh? Well, they've been leaving me alone. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you have to hike in about that far. To get to the river and it has a uh, series of main trails in here and then it switches over to dirt trails okay so these are the dirt trails that meander through the park and over there is the paved trail that goes through the park. All right. Oh, the bottle fell. Uh, so this is uh, the Yakima River Horn Rapids Campground. And uh, it's kind of nice. You want to go that way? Okay, so we will just... Uh, walk back to camp through this trail. The uh, guy camped next to us that has the smart car, he's been having trouble with it and it broke down about a half an hour away from the campground earlier today. So he got a ride, I guess, from AAA back here to the campground and then uh, a bunch of people volunteered to go and help him and uh, I wasn't gonna go and then it looked like they were 
already five people going to stuff themselves into the pickup truck and uh, it just looked like it was getting to be too big of a party and uh, so hopefully um, everything will be uh, taken care of get the smart car loaded back up into his cargo trailer and uh, they'll be on their way again <clears throat> but he has been having a water leak problem it has a new engine in it three cylinder engine and uh, he is a mechanic and he cannot find where this water leak is but I think after this he's going to find it out um, there's another birdhouse up on that telephone pole so it's kind of nice to see that they're promoting bird nesting there's another one here so there's probably a whole bunch of them uh, strategically placed throughout the uh, estuary swampland or whatever it is uh, it's, it's a good place for birds as we were walking up to the uh, water's edge a blue heron took off so we kind of missed that I didn't have the camera out yet and uh, so back to the truck story um, uh, hopefully he'll be back in camp and loaded up everything okay again by the time we get back to camp <clears throat> But look at these skies, huh? They're so beautiful. Green, blue, or the greens, the blues. I mean, it is just beautiful. Just beautiful here. And hot. 94 degrees, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Might have topped out at only 91 today. Oh. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Yeah, well, Archie's taking care of the camper for us with uh, the air conditioner running at full. <clears throat> so the air conditioner had us down to, uh, um, I think this is where we got to turn up. Yeah, this is where we got to turn up. Even with full electricity, it runs battery down? But what's that? Oh, no, no. It, uh, uh, the air conditioner has nothing to do with the battery. It's only plugged in. There's a milkweed there. Bugs love it. The flowers, that is. Yeah, that was my first mosquito slap. Somebody rode their bike through here. They were probably the they were probably the smart people who went early this morning when it was still cool, 70. And now we are back up at the main trail again. Kelly was listening to the coyotes howling last night. So there's probably plenty of rabbits and stuff. See the expansion from the sun on the asphalt. Opens up those cracks. Expansion, contraction, heating and cooling. Thank you, Dr. Science. Yes, Dr. Science here. So, okay, well, this is... Uh, yeah, it's getting hot. I'm breaking out a little bit of a sweat now. It's only been 20 minutes. This will be enough of a walk for one day. Okay, so I'm going to sign off here, and that was just kind of a quick show of... What's around here? Campground, Campground straight ahead. Old Glory flying with an MIA flag below it. Let me see all the rolling hills about. Okay, let me pause you for a second here. Okay, and we are back at the campground. There is the big field that keeps whispering in my ear. Golf clubs. And they said it's normally really, really green. Yeah. But the normal caretaker had to take some time off, and so they just haven't been watering it like they yeah. usually do. Apparently his wife passed away a couple days ago. So here is the GoPro view of the rally. You can see all the truck campers and other vehicles here 
and we are just up the road here. Looks like the red truck, our uh, neighbor with the smart car is back. So we'll drop in and see how he's doing. Our neighbor was not there. Uh, must have been out with uh, one of the groups just uh, talking about the problem. He had a smart car that kept overheating and so I think he was going to get rid of it and get a Chevy Spark. There's this full rig and trailer there. It was a nice setup. Here we are at the dump station which had an unbelievably large number of little bugs flying around getting in your face. This is the Horn Rapids Park sign and the information, boat launch, trails, restroom, dump station, horse camp, campground and out there is the main campground and play field and uh, so we are leaving coming up on highway 240 normally we would be taking a left up that way to go towards Hanford and Highway 24, but we are going to visit uh, family friends, so we are heading down into West Pasco Tri Cities. West one? West Richland. West Richland. So, West all right. And um, down in here is the boat launch. You may or may not be able to get a glimpse of it from up here. right by the seaplane. So there you go. All flat scrub, sage, brush. All right. We had a nice visit with Kelly's cousin there in West Richland, and then we swung into Ellensburg, the Red Horse Diner, and had a couple of nice big burgers, and Kelly had a uh, chicken fried steak with the biscuits and gravy very tasty but the red horse diner is a traditional stop for us on the way home in ellensburg when we uh, are finishing up a trip so if you ever get a chance to go there red horse diner highly recommend it i hope you enjoyed this video please do click the like button and if you did not like it click the did not like button twice to make sure your vote is recorded you're invited to leave comments questions about anything you saw in the video and as always you are invited to subscribe okay thanks for watching